Uh, first, before we start the leveling, it's necessary to check out the nozzle. Because if, if it is not the first time the nozzle is used, the residual filament on nozzle will affect the accuracy of leveling. So, what I'm gonna do? Uh, let's click on prepare and preheat and wait for the nozzle to reach the target temperature 200 degree. Now the temperature has reached the 200 degree and we notice that the filament starts to melt down and when you notice that the filament starts to melt down extract all the rest of filament from the extruder otherwise the nozzle will keep spitting filament after that we start to wipe the nozzle with tissue uh, but you must be so careful that the all residues can be wiped away To check whether the sensor has been broken may look like a little bit technical, but it's easy to operate. Prepare a multifunction multimeter, turn the switch to this unit, resistance, and we will mirror its uh, circuit by touching the mental plug of the leveling sensor with red and black color test bits uh, but how we identify the sensor can work well you should take a, a thin stick to press copper piece with force to trick the sensor to see that if the multimeter make a sharp ring when it's triggered the sensor has good performance while the multimeter will not rain, it not triggered. Now we have completed all the chicken work. Let's auto level it for now. First, get back to the base of leveling operation. LCD screen. Click on prepare and prehead to make sure that. The nozzle temperature is below 50 degrees for leveling to avoid a burn out the sensor. Now we install the leveling sensor, but attention please, you have to install softly to avoid triggering the sensor. Now we don't have to have the nozzle make an animate contact with the sensor yet. Then click on prepare level auto. Normally, before the extruder starts leveling, it will first move to the top to complete the homing work, and it will get back to the bottom. And then it will move to the right direction after the extra stops moving the leveling completes now we click OK and check the 9 parameters on the screen if the air range from the Maximum to minimum value falls within plus or minus 0 0.5 the leveling is of success and you can see there's a difference between the uh, maximum value 0 0.9 and the minimum value 0 0.5 is within the range so, so we make it 